making mess I keep trying to address Cannot come to terms With the monster under my head Told me stop it, so much hate it made me nauseous Worked in silence, made me cautious I exerted every option, count me out Must think I lost it, losing sleep Somehow I fought it, I heard life was a box of chocolates Ain't shit sweet, run hair's toxic Made the most of what we got We go hard and do a lot, so we party till we drop Tell the neighbors it won't stop Watch your shorty hit me up On days I need to pick me up I just wanna live it up Can somebody lift me up? Losing track under the water, searching for something that we've seen.
Hello, everybody. Get your headset on. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It, it is. Uh, it's more evening. It's an afternoon. Okay, Julius. It is Anyways. afternoon. That's so that. Therefore, so as I was saying, welcome, welcome. back to this week seven yeah. of League of Legends. Welcome back CCL. to the circus. I am Colby. The circus rides again, and I am Thomas. And we will be your hosts for tonight. Um, <laughs> I believe everybody is in lobby. I'm sure they're just waiting for streams, so we should hopefully be getting into um, picks and bans here. Picks and bans here <laughs> shortly after we, are give, we give them the ready check here. But yeah, um, I actually do want to say while we are waiting here that um, I'm actually excited for this week because last week after UND's game, we went into extensive uh, VOD review, um, and even the team even had like a really extensive talk of. Um, uh, what am I going to say? Uh, comp. Good question. Uh, yes, yes, you know, comp and, I'm actually um, very glad you brought that up. I do believe stuff. that uh, High Weebler has a few new champs he might be busting out tonight. I don't want to mention anything because this part is not a delay. Uh, yes, you can switch it over now, please. Thank you. Um, but we will maybe go into that if it's not picked. Uh, ah, here. so the Victor ban. Yeah, we're not doing a we're Great. not doing pick ban website this week. Yes, they actually didn't want to, which I'm ah. glad because I don't like to. It's very annoying. But, yeah, yeah so the Victor ban, um, very, right out the gate, targeting Crimson on mid. Um, Ergot ban coming out. Um, was it School of Mines or was it UND that pulled out it the It was Ergot? UND. Okay. I could like, remember. UND is a big fan of their cheese. Yeah. Nasus ban. Ooh. Oh. I guess I could pull up their OP. Yeah, if they go Nasus Hullbreaker top lane, that could actually be very dangerous. Not a not a bad not a bad ban to go there. Yeah, no, honestly. I, I fully expect them to ban another mid laner here on this one. Uh most likely Vlad. Um they've usually been banning Victor Vlad. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, and Vlad yeah. is just such an annoying champ. If you're at all good with him, then you will just absolutely be ungankable and the enemy jungler really has no chance to do anything in your lane. Yeah, with with his pool, he becomes very, um, very un annoying to deal with, to say the least. Very untargetable. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to pull up their OB.GG. Ah, the Swain band. Swain? A great um, support who... I'm assuming support. Yeah, who uh, honestly kind of carries as a support. Um, yeah. The um, belief with that is support through damage. No one can hurt my team if they're dead. He He's just... My issue with Swain support... Um, and it looks like Zuri, both Zuri and Jinx do get through, but so as School of Mines is able to take Zuri here, but we are able to pick up, pick up Jinx. Um, in my um, and there's the jungler I was going to mention. Um, High Weaver Alert has been playing a lot of Vi recently. He's actually been really enjoying Vi, um, so I'm not fully surprised that they are bringing it out here. Um, but, but back to the Jinx, um, in my opinion, this is better for DSU because Jinx is a whole lot more early game damage, into especially into a Zuri. Um, so this will be able. This will allow DSU just be even more aggressive early game. And it looks like the bot lane for School Mines is going to be locked in as Zuri Thresh. Um, not a bad pick. Uh, Thresh is definitely a great support with um, um, his lockdown with his hook, his flay, uh, his box. Once they hit level six here, um, so overall just a really great safe support here for them and. Skarner actually coming out for School of Mind's jungler. Terrible like. champ. What's wrong with the this? Renata? Renata mid. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it could work. Um, Trust. Bruja has actually been playing a lot of Renata. He's been enjoying it, which I'm not fully surprised because I actually played uh, All for One the other day of Renata. And that was actually really fun. When did All for One drop this last. It wasn't up for long, so it's not up right now, is it? It's been up for like the past couple of days. Oh, it is no. up right now. Oh, it is. Yeah. I'm have to play. Ah, I haven't played in like a week. I think I played like Thursday last. It was like I think Thursday after patch. Hmm. I really, I really love One for All. One for All, Yumi is absolutely the best choice. One for All is just a meme because you can literally do anything possible. So great. Imagine five Yees. Irelia ban. That's uh. That's. That's interesting. I don't believe Pop Pops is a big player of Irelia. It's for Crimson. He has pulled it out multiple times before and has done fantastic on it. So that's I why. I mean, not 
Not often. Honestly, I think he's pulled it out like twice, and it might have been against um, School of Mines, one of those games. Honestly, and if they wanted to target him, they'd ban the Ari. Which actually might be the ban right here. There it is. Yep. I'm saying he's. Uh, Crimson in the past has been very dominant on the Ari, so it's you a very expect understandable to see here? ban. Corky. That is a. I do believe that uh, Crimson's gonna go with the Corky pick here. It's one of his most played mid laners. Yeah, I'd say it'll probably be the Corky pick here, and then leave uh, top lane for the the um, counter pick. That's the words I'm trying to look for. Sorry, my head maybe scramble. Actually, they're going Glenn? for the top lane. Okay. Um, I know. Not necessarily. No, it's top lane. Because I know Pop Pop does play Gwyn, but I don't know if Crimson actually he does. He does. Play. Don't you remember last semester? But he played top last semester. True, but that's about all he played. That yeah. was that was like 80% of his pick. I know Pop Pops has also been working on his Gwyn, so it's most likely heading top. Yeah. Well, and a great champ with the uh, true damage from her Q, I believe. Oh, that's. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that they have a Thresh and a Sir. Soraka top. Probably. It's been getting played a lot lately because yeah. uh, there was a video of it's like, somebody. It's like Janna top, basically. It was a Soraka top against a Yone, and the Soraka 1v1 to the Yone and got the kill. But it only worked because Sora because Yone missed every single shot. Yeah. it's. I'm not fully surprised. I've actually uh, dabbled myself with some 80 Soraka top and managed to get a double kill one time, but that was years ago in like bronze lobbies. Soraka mid. Um, it could also be Kamel mid. Kamel mid also would work as well. But um, I I don't think I I don't think that's what they're going for. I don't here. like Raka mid though because she just. I also she don't doesn't, like her top. I know, but top makes more sense in this scenario. But you see more support mid lanes than Bruiser's oh. mid lane. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Um. Please keep switching champs. Is it AD Thresh mid? Okay. No, it is Soraka mid. Let's go! Oh, no. Crimson on the Yasuo. That's unfortunate. Not to flame. That's but he a, hasn't had the greatest uh, luck with the Yasuo. And a Yas wind wall doesn't work on any of Soraka's kit. No, because they're all overhead. Yep. And it's weird. Because, yeah, um, small indie company. That's highly unfortunate. But um, it will still be nice here for uh, Yasuo just because Raka will have very little presence as term of the wave. True. So and if if Crimson's able to hit Soraka with a tornado, that's going to be just about it for her. Mm -hmm. Because she does not have a lot of sustain unless she hits the Q, which you know, Yas is a pretty mobile champ. He should be able to dodge. To dodge. Yeah, yeah, he should be able to dodge a Soraka Q. All right. So, as you were saying, um, Gwyn does have uh, true damage in the middle of her Q. It has the little, uh, it has like a little line like a uh, set W. So sh she does have some true damage in it. That's why she's really annoying to one v one against most of the time because of that true damage. Um, she's most likely also going to take Conqueror, which increases healing and which also gets more annoying. Truth be told, I am surprised that they banned the Tom Kench. If they planned on oh, yeah. playing Gwen, because Tom Kench is a highly immobile champ. So it's yes. very easy to hit him with the Gwen true damage. But Tom Kench is also um uh Tom Kench is also just extremely um Extremely yes. tanky. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look up their their roster, and I keep getting distracted by messages in Discord. Um, who am I looking at? Oh yeah, and it could also be a support thing. Um, it is not support. Is it by chance top laner? What? Um, it is in It is top laner. I was trying to see if it was a support ban or if it was a top lane ban because, um, honestly, right now. Um, Tom Kench is better in the support lane with uh, the recent changes that they oh, did to him. Yeah, that would be a support ban. No, it's, 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 it's top ban. They ban four tops? Yeah. Even though it's funny because I believe SD Mini is their strongest uh, person, but uh, yeah. That's a lot of top bans. Oh, well. I, I honestly think Nasus was for mid laner, though. 
because that is his highest. I will literally pull up the U.GG and show you. I, Hold up. Wait a minute. Somebody right. Um, because their mid laner is Cube Regan. Yeah. Highest I, I think it's Cube Nasus. Regen. It's a cube that regens, you know? There's If there's anybody in the School of Minds, anybody from the School of Minds in the chat right now, help me out with this. It's got to be Cube Regen. It's got to be. Uh, but yeah, see? Nasus. Nasus Rengar. So, that, which is funny because... Oh, yeah, does he play he any mid laners? Um, uh, Fiora, Raka, Tren, Janna, Seraphine, Set, Yumi, Orn. So, no. But his main thing is jungle, so... Most um, of those aren't junglers. Yes, um, but I know in the past, because SD Mini, uh, I th believe last semester, actually, I think every single week he was in a different role. So That's unfortunate. The School of Mines might be having a little bit of... Um, Roster issues. We don't know. I'm just glad they did uh, come with a roster. Glad to see him back. Um, glad to see actually everybody back that returning in the um, the new people actually. But anyways, um, we're getting into game as I just saw the screen switch over. No spoilers. Spoiler alert! Somebody wins. You don't know that. <laughs> they both losers. Skin diff. We got arcane vi. You know what's funny? Huh. Um, Dragon Sun Hunter has the, the new uh, cat skin. Also, I gotta remember I'm actually running Observer. Um, and he was complain He was actually complaining about Prestige Edition, how he didn't like that. Um, so unfortunately, as we learned about 30 minutes ago, um, Spectator got updated, and we no longer have um, objective timers. So we don't know how long for Dragon. We don't know how long for Baron. Um, Not entirely true. Well, we can kind of justify from the map, but we won't have actual time. I still think you should let me put overlays on this. We can talk about that later. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> won't ruin any of your room pages. It just gives us jungle timers. Oh, you're talking about Blitz? No, Blitz is terrible. Oh, I'm talking you about Udai GG. All of those are garbage. No, and they you know aren't. It. So, as we should probably be talking about the game here... DSU is um, not doing the five-man invade. Yes, they are not doing a five-man five invade this time. They are doing, oh. Thresh missed the uh, pole. It's huge. Very we go in on this. Goodbye. Ooh, nice. Um, unfortunately, we're not a flash to try to get that Q. So very nice reaction flash from the Zuri. It was also kind of a flash to save her life there. But flash for flash trade there from ADC and support. Um, as always, because I haven't mentioned this yet, if you don't like anything with observing tonight, just remember Blake Thomas, and let's get into the game. At least I don't download malware. <laughs> just saying. True. But anyways, um, I think my mouse stopped. Okay, there we go. Perks of using wireless. Okay, so both junglers starting, um bot side of the map we actually see skarner going down to krugs here so um he will most likely be slightly behind this vi if vi decides to do a full clear here um not to mention uh skarner really didn't get much of a leash there no. as his there he had to back so he um, i didn't think about that he, and skarner doesn't have a great clear no well it, it is a little bit better because of his pillars and they have changed his pillar locations to help him with all three camps um as you do see uh dsu bot lane does get level two as they they've been prominent to doing the last couple weeks and they have are showing that um with how aggressive they walk up in the lane the second they hit level two here um it's really great thing that these two have been playing together for three years now and are both uh, really aggressive. Actually, Gwen gets a very nice first blood there. I don't know Our what happened there. Observer not paying attention. Yeah, why weren't you paying attention, Thomas? I never pay attention. You know this. <laughs> Big brain, no thought. Thresh pulling cannon. Way to go. Play. Um. A lot is happening. I don't know if Zuri dashed into those traps or if that was Renata Q. I'm gonna go with it's a Renata Q. We got Yas kind of roaming here. Going I think Yas is trying to go for a cheeky gank. I I don't know. He was just kind of circling around, maybe trying to get wards, making sure Skarner wasn't in the area. And this is what I was talking about with the little bit different times here. Um, 
because Skarner is just hitting River and Vi is now making an impact mid as Thomas was a little late to that fight. This isn't my fault. <laughs> I looked over and your, your eyes just scream. I don't know what's happening. Oh no, no. I'm like totally glazed over right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, well we have Camille doing Camille things and using E to jump onto Gwyn here. E. Um, a sports. It's in the game. <laughs> Can't copyright us. No one of us said the whole thing. Uh, we do actually have Vi in the background, but Jinx getting very low here, having to flash out, also use Teal, Ignite from Thresh coming down, and the Flay enhance auto. But Renata and Vi should be able to clean up here. Um, Vi, don't leave your Renata. Renata. Uh, unfortunately. Bye. I'm assuming W wasn't up from Renata there. Um, very unfortunate there that it was only a one for two. Um, yeah, I lost all train of thought. As you do. Yeah. But we um we have Gwen, with the first item call. So let's yes. talk about that. Um. Honestly, with how with how Pop Pops have been playing the past couple weeks, I don't fully hate it because he's been playing basically the split pusher role right now so putting him on somebody that's just meant early game to farm and not a whole lot else it's not a terrible idea because once he completes that um it does put an extra 180 in his pocket um so it's it, it's not fully terrible uh, flash from the from Yasuo here. Flash ignite. The ignite actually was able to take long enough for that. Very surprising. Got through barrier. Yeah. Well done. Um, I would say it, it must have been like the very last tick of ignite right when barrier fell down. So, very good job on Yasuo there. Um, hopefully we can see um break finally break the curse of um Bad Yasuo Yas syndrome. Gameplay. Yeah. As long. You think the guy with Samurai in his name would be really good at playing the champ that just has a sword. And he's leaving before plating. Could've got that. Eh. It's the safer thing to do. So we do have junglers meeting here. Uh, Vi is going to get into this lane first. Gwen ulti coming down. Very good, very good use of hitting this level 6 beforehand. Using your power spike before. Um, can, well, power-ish spike. Usually getting your ulti before the enemy laner is a power spike most of the time. Um, using that before your laner can get six to make even more of a uh, impact in that lane. As you do see, School of Mine does have um, a freeze going on bot lane. It's more of a slow push now, but um, very good job for them because then that'll force DSU to have to go more aggressive, which leaves them very open for um, a stunner game here. Um, Crimson doing big damage here on Very mid lane good. and the whole oh, torn. Uh, Soraka ult is coming going out to get the, the trade, team. unfortunately. And that's going to be some very good shutdown gold. Honestly, that, that's, Faster honest, back. that's honestly kind of worse because then he gets the Raka ulti out when somebody is low on the enemy team. That is true. So and it's I mean, honestly kind of worth just because it's Rocket Ulti. And I mean, honestly, and let's see the gold on this. I do believe Yas is still up in gold. Yes, he should be. He is by, by 900. Tremendous. That's, yeah, mainly At because seven of minutes, that is massive. Um, so we do see Camille trying to, attempting an E onto the Gwyn, uh, barely missing there. See Skarner trying to invade, I think, but the rest of uh, DSU is coming over to stop him here. Got a mini Lux laser from Zuri, as I'm going to forever call that. And we have Crimson here yep. rotating, getting caught yeah. by the Thresh hook, but, but uh, nothing is going to come out of it. Mine's not doing much. Yet. So the on on actually, that's why it's a good thing to use W. So. Um, Gwen becomes untargetable when inside of her W. Also, amazing use of the ulti and the damage. Also, the fact that you are multiple, uh, a couple levels above this Kamel. But um, that's actually a good reason to use it because then if Kamel is onto a wall, she's outside of that range and can't be targeted. So we do see Vi on Dragon here. We do see Yasuo roaming over. 
Um, we do see Skarner in the area, but DSU bot lane is also hovering in the area, so this should be a pretty uh, free... Oh. Jinx doesn't have her um, QSS tax yet. Renata W coming out, but nobody's low enough to try to uh, revive her here. DSU was able to pick up the dragon. And get the Skarner ult there. Yes, and Skarner ulti unfortunately just resulted in Jinx's death here. Uh, typical... So... I think this has been a bug for a while, but I don't think the Skarner of pillars when the when red side takes it i don't think it actually shows uh them highlighted in red so it's hard to tell who actually has access to these pillars so it's hard to tell when um skarner will actually have the enhanced movement speed and attack speed or not sure. because um riot doesn't give uh doesn't care about spectate Ooh, that zuri ulti did a lot of damage nice w coming from the renata Oh, very unfortunate. Renata's still able to pick up the kill, but the rocket from Jinx uh, going haywire there. I'm assuming uh, accidentally hit minimap or something. Or HUD, maybe. Um, why aren't you focusing on the fight? <laughs> you are out of it. Got it. What? Can I help you, sir? Stop staring at me. This is harassment. No, it's not. Let me speak to the manager. I am the manager. Of what? I Wrong. My, key my keyboard is like barely out of range. Well, you see, Yas has full boots. He does, which so, is a first uh, first item you always go on Yasuo. No. W. It's also um, a very big power spike, which is funny to say because usually boots aren't a power spike. Uh, we do see uh, Vi and Skarner meeting in the jungle. Nice Vi ulti matched with the Yasuo ulti. Oh, oh, oh. I never thought about that till now. If Very it's a knockup, it'll yes. take a Yasuo. You want to know what the funniest knockup is to use on that? Cho'Gath. No. Shivana ulti. It knocks up. And you like use that in like five seconds. It's like a frame or two. You literally have to be spamming the button. <laughs> uh, tower dive. Oh, actually, multiple tower dives are happening here. Unfortunately, Gwyn traded up top side and um, DSU on the bot side. Jinx uh, going down again here. So, you know, I was saying that this will be good for DSU because um, they have the more aggressive lane with the Jinx, but. Honestly, we're not really seeing that right now. As we do see Jinx 0 and 4. Um, surprisingly, though, it's Thresh who's 4 now. And not the Zuri. Correct. So, this Thresh just hitting some really good pulls here. Uh, catching out catching out the Jinx quite a bit. Um, so, Yasuo should be able to rotate through this faster than the Raka, which we see here. And, and even if Soraka gets here, yeah, uh, Raka and Skarner can't do a whole lot in no. this fight. They just don't have the damage output. Plus, you do have Gwyn here as well, who is now behind the fight. Um, Yasuo actually getting Skarner pulled, and but DSU was managed was able to finish the Herald here, and they are going to take this fight. The only issue they have to Raka worry about, all. yes, the only issue you have to worry about is Raka and her healing. But Raka but Gwen. going. Raka going down to Gwen here, and she should be able to 1v2 and finish this. Um, School of Minds does have Zuri rotating up, so she uh, Gwen does have to be careful here. It's going to dash out of that, um, and it looks like uh, she is going to be chased down here, but has her W and dashes to get away. So, um, yeah, she gets away pretty easily. Um, I think... As we do miss a fight down bot lane, which is very helpful because Jinx does get that uh, shutdown. And there's a fight happening topside, which Zuri gets the kill. Why is uh, why and is Zuri, Zuri dies side? to tower? Yeah, it's a one for one trade. So Zuri does get a shutdown, but honestly, at least it's a one for one trade. And there goes um, mid tower. There goes Jinx rocket. Oh, fortunate! Almost securing the kill on both. Super close. If only she had backed and gotten the item first after the Thresh shutdown. I, if she would have just shot it like a few seconds earlier, I think she, they would have been low enough. 
Um, so a nice second charge onto that mid tower. Um, DSU was also able to get take out the uh, tier one tower and bot side. So honestly, that play not looking the greatest for school mines as they did get a traded one for one, but then they ended up losing two towers because of it. And kind of, kind of some uh, important ultis with the Skarner ulti and Rock ulti as well. Definitely. Because uh, for once, um, as we saw it so many times last last uh, last week, High Weevilor actually got out this time <laughs> um, alive after taking the Herald. He did manage to successfully take the Herald. Actually, no, he didn't. No, he didn't die there. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He got low and ran away. Did he? he did not die. Man, I missed that. Um, there's the Yas ult. I would say, there's the Yas Vi combo we've been seeing. Zuri's ult is down, so they're going to have to be careful with this, but uh, Jinx is just going aggressive onto this. They need to try to back off here and let the Zuri ult just go off. DSG was able to blow up the dragon here, Hextech Gage, which is very nice to see for a Jinx. Vi uh, jumping in. in, grabbing the Soraka heal there. Nobody has anti-heal right now on DSU, so nobody... Oh, and this fight got super split. Okay. Um, there's Thresh down there. Um, Vi going a bit too hard and heavy on yep. the... That's the only issue with Zuri. If you try to fight her 1v1, she has a ton of heal. Oh, unfortunately, yeah. the Soraka heal coming in clutch here for they're just, Zuri. Yeah, they're just letting the Zuri run around here and kite them they're trying to go in 1v1 one one-on-one -on -one. um reason dsu lost that was because they decided to split fight that um i honestly i think the biggest reason they lost that there was because of the soraka that too and the fact that i think uh crimson just picked up his uh that is correct yeah he he just fought that so uh, which which really sucks because picking up early Grievous Wound really does kill your kill your early game damage, but it's really important into a Soraka because um, there's it's having a Soraka on the enemy team is basically like trying to fight three different teams because of how much you can go through. It's either you need to jump on the rock and blow her up, or you need to fight three teams before you're killing the entire team. Um, so Zer uh, Zuri Thresh making their way topside here, catching out Gwyn a bit, but they're not able to really pick up on, any on anything. Getting the play off, which will lock it down here, and they're able to pick up that kill finally. So biggest threats right now are looking like Zuri and Thresh with Camille. Ooh, very nice Jinx rocket there. Very good the snipe. Thresh. Well, um, they actually have School of Minds doing a pretty good job of closing this gap. Here. Yeah, and say so they're doing an amazing job. They were job. down some, like, I think, 0 to 8, and have, have really done a good job of bringing it back. Then about uh, 2k, 2,500 gold difference. And say so they've been really playing through this bot lane and allowing them to get ahead here. Um, yeah, which has really closed the gap here. Um... Just a little minor mistakes on DSU here, just getting a little bit too aggressive and they shouldn't have. Uh, some uh, poor communication with um, target prio and stuff like that. Just very minor stuff to change um, for future games here. Overall, it's still a very close game. Still anybody's game here. Skarner is going to take that. Let's see. It wasn't showing red, but it also wasn't blue's, blue side. Notice how now there's a very large circle around it. Yes, that's because somebody's just it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, true. Okay. Fantastic Renata ult here. Really locking down most of School of Minds here. Renata W not quite enough to save Dragon Soul. There's the Fai Yasuo combo we see. And nice. And it was actually uh, Bruja who died there. It was the Renata who died, not Dragon Sun. Correct. So, but yes. I don't know, man. Um, Good one for four, though. You know, the only problem about DSU running Renata right now, Zuri doesn't do her Q auto attacks. She does her little dinky 30 damage auto attacks. Which is very unfortunate when you Renata ulti a Zuri. Because then they just sit there, like, zapping you for 30. And it's very unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I blanked out about half of what you said and then realized you said Zeri and Renata Ulti. I was I was highly confused there for a hot second. Like, we're back. Uh. Okay.
Yee <laughs> shape. Dude, Good. don't look at me like that. There's just a constant track of Katy Perry songs playing in my head right now. You look at me like I'm joking. I promise you I'm not. And this is why we call it the circus. <laughs> it's a 24-7 infomercial in my head. <laughs> For Katy Perry albums. <laughs> don't sing it. I hummed it. There's just... <laughs> We don't need copyright claims. You're not even anywhere close to it, but we don't need copyright claims. So we just see Gwen missing all. Um, the only issue is she has multiple charges of it, so missing the first charge isn't overly too bad. And she Ignite, not quite. Out. Yeah, and say Camille barely getting out. I wish I could see how much time's left on Dragon. Yeah, I know. Don't blame me, blame Small Indie Company. Hey look, it's the dragon! Because they don't care about spectators, that's a different story. So we got story. a nice 4v4 here while the top laners brawl out at top, because top's an island, basically. Especially how we play with top. Thresh pulling Lantern into Drag Pit like he can jump to it? Um, it's probably just to give vision, more than likely. Fair enough. To see if DSU has started dragging here. Um, Jinx oh, him down. Thresh, no. Thresh hook barely missing. Um, Zuri ulti coming down extremely soon. Um, Yasuo ulti only hitting one here. They're able to get down the rocket here. They do have to worry about the teleport, but they're able to blow through school mines before they have to turn around and worry about the Kamel. That was a lot of healing that Crimson Samurai just got. I'm assuming from Shield Bow. Um, correct. Yes, it was his Shield Bow here. Okay, got it. Also, Wind died. Gwen did. That's why um, Camille teleported. Oh yeah, she died right here. Got it. Okay. Yes. Got it. Interesting. I would have liked to see that fight. I did not realize they were fighting. Honestly, I think the team fight was more important. Yeah, it I'm was. very glad we, we very 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 glad, very glad we saw that. Okay, no, that so was... okay, so notice how Bruja is on it and took it, and now there's no big ring yeah. around the jungle. Yeah. That's like, how you know. And honestly, like I think that. it might. Does Scar does Scar have a skin? Yeah, Skarner has a skin. This is not default skin. Okay, I was gonna. I. I. Okay, yeah, now I see. I, yeah, yeah. I wasn't really paying attention. But I think the coloring of it is due to the skin. I think if it was default skin, it might be different. Maybe. It should be, honestly. Cool. And there's the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, now, I now know what you're saying. Jinx now has Kraken Slayer and Infinity Edge. So and that's kind of huge. And Hurricane. Um, and Hurricane, but I'm more worried about the other two. You know? I'm more worried that we only have two forms, actually three forms, because we're not an out has it. Okay, I'm not slightly as worried. But yes, Jinx will be hurting a lot. Um, okay, quick thing for the Zuri. Uh, very minor build thing. I like going run and ands. I like actually building the team map you and like going, going run and ands. You want to run that by me one more time? I'm about to kick you out of this game. I'm going to run that. I'm actually the one working. The Jinx ult getting a very nice call on the Soraka. Good choice getting that out. Thresh taking the Renata ult. Uh, Zeri trying to stay in the back line, but Crim or High Weevil is just not going to allow that. That was disgusting. That the was win ulti damage Absolutely there. disgusting. That was very disgusting. And that's a free Baron. Yeah, it should be. 21 minute Baron here for DSU. Camille is... Seems as though she's just gonna grab the Garomp and go. Yeah, and say she, she's the best option. Not a whole lot that can be done here. She cannot um, try to contest that, unfortunately. A single Kamel at this point cannot uh, 1v5 into uh, DSU state right now. I just decided to create a new school, DSU I guess. We're not gonna talk about it. You're still lost. Got it. What? <laughs> exactly my point. We have Camille jumping right into the middle of DSU and yeah. taking the full force of it. Dead Yas. And that's why I was talking about um, the fact that Camille can't 1v5, so that's why they had to give up Baron there. Um, ooh, very ulti actually stopped the field. Skarner walking forward. He doesn't have ulti, but... Just getting rid of some vision, using the Hextech Gates to get out of here safely. I'd just like to say that Yas uh, now officially has Infinity Edge. He does. Uh, so there's uh, really nobody on the side of School of Mines that can stand against that. Um, and it's not um, it's it's not really a skill thing, it's just a Yasuo 
It's scaling for free kind of thing. It's 200 years, to say the least. It's 200 years. Um, and for those of you who don't play League religiously like some of us, um, 200 years just, it's it's a huge joke throughout the community. I think multiple communities of like 200 years of coding where something that is extremely broken without, um, Whoa! Yo! Well, okay, that's getting replayed. I don't even care. We need to go back and see that. We're that was absurd. I don't care. That needs to be replayed. Did you see this? Watch this. Watch this. So High Weeb Alert doesn't know. Hits the Blast Cone trying to get out. And Crimson Samurai tagging his ult off of the Blast Cone onto the... That was absolutely insane. I'm very sorry we missed that fight. But that replay was so much more important. Why couldn't you play it afterwards? No! What? <laughs> and you needed to be played right then and there. Absolutely, absolutely insane. Well, anyways. Um. So Camille's down, yeah. That just happened. DC is sieging the school of mine's base here. Um, oh, Yasuo. Yasuo in fountain, unfortunately. And first game here is going to go to. DSU, I almost said School Vines. Oh, you can switch back over now. Awesome. Um, overlay, please. Thank you. Awesome. What? Hey. <laughs> Something you'd like to say, Kobe? To that last team fight. <laughs> I'm not the only one mad about it. Okay, anyways. <laughs> this is why we call it the circus. Um, very, very uh, good showing there from DSU. Um, School Minds made a really good uh, comeback here about mid-game, uh, playing through Thresh and Zuri there. Unfortunately, just wasn't enough. Uh, DSU finally stepped back, realized that they were being extremely aggressive, and uh, was able to turn that lead uh, really far ahead for them. Um, so very good job from both teams there. Um, the Vi looked amazing on High Weaver Alert. I'm it so really glad was. you picked it up. I, I especially love how when they got into a team fight, High Weaver Alert, towards the end of that game, he started throwing himself into the back line with mm -hmm. Vi's jump and just head straight towards the, uh, the Zeri. I think that was... A very good move and very, very smart plays I think, there. I think he also to, to try to do it to get onto the Raka so Yasuo can also get on the Raka so they can blow up the Raka. So it's not as big of an issue as you if you don't have um, anti-heal there. Um, so very good showing. Um, Crimson Samurai finally beat the curse of Yasuo Syndrome on, on the team here. So he had a very great... Excuse me, showing there tonight, uh, to the, that game. I don't know why I said tonight. Um, we're not done yet. We're not you done. You can't escape me that easy. Sometimes I wish I could. My can's warm. What? I don't know. What do you want from me? More than this. I cook out a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shout out my homie Luke. Uh, what are they saying? Are they saying they're ready for the next game here? No? Alright. Then we're gonna go to a quick two-minute break here. Uh, and then we'll get right back into the action. Yes, indeed. I'm 
I should have kept You spill them up as I collect But I fall for it off a million Welcome back everybody to CCO Week boogity, 7 Boogity, boogity, Let's go play some League What? You never seen Cars? <laughs> boogity, 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 let's go race <laughs> That's just a NASCAR thing, but okay. Okay. But it was um, also in Cars. Well, yes, because that's a NASCAR movie. It was actually a feel-good, family-friendly movie. <laughs> About ra- cars that are racing. About Radiator Springs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're getting into game two here. Is Thomas is still dying. Dance. <laughs> Ergot. <laughs> oh, <you have> <laughs> okay, first ban DSU Ergot. Um, I'm assuming we're just gonna see about the same bands as we saw last time on side of DSU. We might see a little bit mix up for School of Minds here. We may see maybe a Vi ban or um, a top laner ban. Um, here in this early phase, but I'm assuming this last one. What did they pick? Uh, band third. Last time it was Swain. I'm sure this will be a correct. Swain. And actually, we're seeing the Jinx ban here, which is interesting because first pick Zeri. Well, if if they if they let Zeri comes through, um, I'm assuming they're also going to have to pay the Zeri tax here as well to not allow DSU to actually get it. And there's the Swain ban, as like I was talking about. You do need to sleep. What are you, my mother? And oh, actually, I'm. Uh, yep, there's the Zeri, the Zeri pick right there. Called they, it. They decided to ban Nunu, which Dragon also, Sin really does like the Zeri. Yes, he he's been picking either Zeri or Jinx right now. So, um, interesting choice, actually. I think this is the very first team we've seen all semester actually leave Vladimir up. Oh. So we maybe be seeing. You know, truth uh, be told, while he can play Vlad pretty well, Crimson Samurai isn't actually, like, he doesn't like playing Vlad that yeah, much. Yeah, which, which which is kind of funny because everybody bans it. That that kind of happened last semester, too, because Vladimir wasn't in a good spot. And Daniel, our old mid laner, uh, homeboy. Was goaded on the Vlad. Yeah, he also had a really amazing Vlad, so everybody banned it, but he never really liked playing it that semester. So It's because it's just so annoying. If he does decide to play it, ugh, yeah. you know? <laughs> so we Mood. have Lucian Nami uh, pick for S- School of Minds here, and then we have Vi for the jungler again for DSU. Makes sense. High Weebler did amazing on the Vi that last game. Might as well run it back. I feel like we're going to pick a support here. Yeah. Ooh. Which Lulu is very good with Zuri because of her passive. Lulu provides a lot of shielding for supports, and Zuri's passive is every single time she gets shielding, she gains more movement speed. So, Radiator Springs <laughs> and Ergot. I'm gonna watch that later. What does Radiator Springs have to do with Ergot? Because they're not even in the same universe. You're talking about Radiator Springs, and then you're like Ergot. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, as I'm going to mention, as we're getting to the second phase of bans, Lucian Nami, not as in meta as it used to be when um, the, I believe it was Nami changes first came out with her E, um, at least the damage buffs, um, but it is still a very huge threat to be worried about early, especially early game, because Nami can E Lucian, Lucian can uh, E forward, um, and um, basically 3 auto you with the Nami damage early game. And Hecarim, um, which we know in the past is a very hard um, uh, 
matchup for DSU to deal with. The only thing is, um, Hecarim actually got mega nerfed recently, so he's, he's not really as good. And that absolutely pleases me, because yeah. I also absolutely despise playing against Hecarim. He is a very annoying jungler, I will say the least. But, you know, honestly, in this matchup, it's not too bad, because if I can target the Hecarim, knock him up, stop his movement... That takes away a lot of his damage as part of Hecarim's passive is that the more movement speed he has, the more damage he does. His E does. I don't think it's overall damage. It's, I just know it's, it's his overall. E. He gains damage. He gains attack damage based on move speed, which is super annoying. <laughs> um, so, um, even though... So, School of Minds did ban the Yasuo um, because... Crimson did a very good job that last game. But even though the Raka went 1 and 7, they're still sticking to their guns and picking Raka mid here. Or Rihanna. Now that's not that's not one we see a very often. No. Um I don't think which she may have recently gotten a buff because I don't pay too close attention to it. But I know Oriana isn't in the greatest da like greatest right now meta wise. But she's still a control mage, and it's still Oriana, and it's still Oriana ulti. So no matter what, you can still have a huge impactful ulti as Oriana. And you know, honestly, another good matchup against the Hecarim due to her W. Yes, which slows uh, enemies Ugh. and leaves a slow field. Ugh. I know, especially after the buff he just got. Uh, he just got a buff. You didn't see the patch notes that uh, High Weebler dropped in the Discord? That's not these patch notes. That's, oh, that's, that's next, next week. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, I'm okay. so glad it got switched off of Gangplank. Um, I think everybody just uh, super has, annoying has a bad feeling about Gangplank. But honestly, with a Zeri, I'm not terribly worried about a Gangplank. Yes, and because no. Zeri can take out the barrels long before he can true but i mean it's it's a little bit of an issue it's still annoying it's gangplank well, it's, yeah it's gameplay he gets two items that build, aren't even mythics <laughs> and then just one shots your entire team that's not fair you you yeah you build you build three items on gangplank and then one shot the enemy backline not even yeah you get essence reefer into your infinity edge good night Boots don't need them. We're saving that for damage items, boy. Boots don't need them. Who are you, Cassiopeia? Nah, I'm Yumi. Uh -huh. Um, so, I don't know if you point this out, but Set was the top lane pick for DSU here. Um, Against an Orn, which I do like because Set true damage. And Set just damage overall. I don't know what I was true. doing there. My mind blanks there. Oh, um, were you also listening to Katy Perry? No, actually. Same, bro. <laughs> hey, enough with the obscure gangplank jokes. <laughs> um, so we do have Set versus Orn topside here. Um, Orn's probably just gonna be pushed out. Orn. Oreo. Oreo's probably gonna be pushed out. Um. But late game, come Orn items, it'll be very impactful for the game because that's free damage. It's it, it's so useful. It's such a huge uh, power spike for uh, anybody on Orn's team here. Um, Hecarim Vi should, you know, fall towards Vi because of the Hecarim uh, nerfs recently. But, but also Hecarim healing. Did they increase that? I don't know if they increased it, but I don't know if they decreased it is the thing. Also hydrate. Stay I'm hydrated out of energy then, drink. So grab a water. I don't want a water. Are you my mother? Sometimes I feel like it. Wait, you want to hand me one of the spicy waters? Let's go. <laughs> spicy water. Sparkling water. Pure. What crocs? Why does it say innocent? I... Why? <laughs> why does the bottom? Why does the can of Lacroix say? <laughs> they can't read that. Innocent. Well, put on your glasses. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Just open it up. The can. Ingredients only in literal bold carbonated water. All right. S spicy water. True. True. It's TV static. This would be a lot more effective if I had a sense of smell. 
Um, okay, as I was saying. <laughs> Remember when I said it was spicy water? It's trying to kill me, man. Should have probably checked the expiration date, because I think they've been it's in It's water. A the worst that's going to happen is it'll go flat, which would honestly make it better. Honestly. Do these have expiration dates? On the bottom, probably. 7, 16, 22. We're good. Oh, yeah, we plenty of time. Maybe I'll get salmonella. <coughs> oh, oh, I should stop doing that. But I won't. Anyway, you were, <laughs> you were saying something. <laughs> Fruity flavor. It's plain because it's sparkling water. Pure, so there's actually no fruit flavor. <laughs> so this matchup, right? Vi versus a uh, Vi versus Hecarim, you know. Um. So with that, you know, Hecarim has a lot of healing, and uh, I think this would be a good opportunity for Vi to go Eclipse. And it's Arcane Hecarim, goaded. With the sauce. Are you okay, Colby? No. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> that segment killed me. Uh, way too hard. Oh no. It's the five man. Oh, they're pulling an us. Surprisingly. Oh no. They're going for the cheeky bot side. But Lulu is gonna. Oh no. <laughs> Very. That was, I'm pretty sure, a five team slow. And that, that basically that just saved her life. That was brilliant. I think but, he did that on purpose. Way to go, Bruja. Good place. Yeah. Top tier place. 100%. But they actually. are coming around here, and Lulu does have to be careful here. Where is the she rest? She is going to be seen here. A three, Another three man, man slow. slow. And she is going to see them here, and it looks like a DSU is just deciding to get deep wards actually a thing we talked about from the und games because we actually saw that game one of und so very good job on dsu to rotate into the jungle here and get those deeper wards and honestly steal this red buff as well because um orange most likely not gonna walk by this red buff to check and if she if he does he's mainly dead right now so very good job on dsu for uh, for doing this here because then, then Vi can just split jungle this and then potentially walk into her own red side and three buff the second, which will stop uh, a lot of uh, XP coming to the second, which will stop him even more, which isn't very helpful for Hecarim right now. But if this Hecarim is any like the last, he will have a very early game map presence. Yes. Which is very dangerous for DSU. <sighs> As it is historically something that High Weebler is not fantastic at. But he has been doing a really good job of working on it. He has. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what his pathing is this game. As that is that is your entire job as jungler is a good pathing. Actually, Hecarim is expecting to split jungle and is actually going into uh, Vi's jungle here to take out Raptors. And we do see the damage on to Zuri is this uh, Lucian Nami combo we were talking about. Even though Lucian does also have a lot of damage to himself as well. Um, so yeah. So we are seeing a very split jungle here. So bot lane does have to be careful for this Hecarim. I do want to point out Orn did actually start E. Oh. Um, because uh, of that oh. invade. So it kind of screwed up his level 1 there. So that's why the lane's in such a favorable spot for the set here. And the fact that Vi it has the entire top side of the jungle to herself, Set can be this far forward and be safe with it. Whereas a School of Minds is able to be this far forward and also be safe because they have the Hecarim so nearby. Um, Lucian taking a lot of damage, oh, having man. to heal Flash there. That looked like a almost that that might have just been mis input because it looked like uh, Lucian thought he could kill the uh, kill somebody there, but then just missed input. But we do have Hecarim coming from behind. Never mind. Honestly, it's a very good thing he disengaged there, as yeah. Lucian Lucian had Lucian back. was backing, and Nami's only level two. And Lulu Zeri have full sums yet on bot lane. That too. 
Uh, right here it might be a decent gank if Hecklin can do it right, but I don't think that would honestly serve that all too well. At most it would just get DSU off of the way there. Um. Uh, hey, 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 Vi. Where are your control wards? Anyways. Oh, no. <laughs> it's something I've been trying to get onto the team about. What about Crimson sitting on two wards? That too. Oh, Crimson going in. Taking a silent. Do some heavy damage because it's Soraka and she can't heal herself. Yeah. Except when she hits Q. Q. Set doing quite Pop a bit of damage. Pops for his blood. Two games in a row. That is two games in a row. Goaded. <laughs> With the sauce. He's going to bust it out. So, we have a very nice uh, Vi gank, although missing the knockup, highly unfortunate. And uh, my observer is losing his mind. I am drinking water. I am I'm also grade. drinking water. No, don't do it again. <laughs> you know what happened last time. <laughs> Lucian dashing forward here. Very nice polymorph from the Lulu here. Unfortunately, the bubble causing her to have to flash because of the damage. Um... Hey, you didn't die this time. Guys, never mind. It's just as bad the third time. <laughs> spicy? Spicy. Spicy. But yeah, so uh, Pop Pop's not dying to that uh, gank up top like I, I oh, first saw he would. No, wait. No, he died. Oh, he just TP'd. My B. I apologize. That one's on me. And Orn really putting his uh, control ward in a bad spot, uh, yeah, right it? next to the bush. Uh, you can see that it's it's, it's oh, now yeah, gone. Yeah. Uh, and Pop Ops is gonna run him down because yeah. he's set, and yeah, that's that's set. what we do here as yeah. set. That's what I like how he's left with four health and he's got out. <laughs> Maddie's gonna have so many good clips after the stream. Shout outs to Maddie. She's doing an amazing job. That's the actual goat. Get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Pickled goat. Anyways, <laughs> we do see we do see Hecram hovering bot lane here. Uh, Lucian is getting very low here, so um, they will have to worry about that. But Hecram actually doing quite a bit of damage, especially to this Lily here. Um, having the ignite come down. Probably uh, Jinx uh, Zuri was actually able to pick up a return kill here. And is still able to go a little bit aggressive. Um, oh, so nice maybe, flash! Oh, Very nice flash from a three Missouri. piece. Can we get a three piece? This should be an easy cleanup. EQ dash forward. She yeah, she's doesn't have dash. Unfortunate. Up. I think he could have got it. He should have played aggressive. I think he just got dashed up. Unfortunately. So uh, set is tower diving. The running <laughs> the horn down. I mean, this is what happens when you're this far ahead on set. You just kind of do whatever you feel this like. This far ahead, man. he's three. Oh, I I missed the twenty CS. But he's he's only three. What? Yeah, that's a head early game. Uh, Vi and Hecram are going to meet here in the jungle. Um, unfortunately, Vi is just giving up with that buff. Very unfortunate. Where are your control wards, good sir? Don't need them. Yeah, you do. Ah, see this control ward right here that he's sitting on? Yeah, that is giving them vision. And honestly, I think that's his control ward. So, we're not going to talk about it. We do see Lulu roaming up as well. Bruja doing what Bruja knows best is roaming. When in doubt, roam. When in doubt, roam it out. True. Um, a Hecarim and Vi meeting again. Hecarim missing the knockup because Vi. Oh. He also just hit a Raptor to get closer, so it wasn't going to knock up anyways. He has his six. He could have knocked up. That is a fear. His ulti is a not fear. Not if you chain it into up. your Q. It's his E, but yes. You got everything wrong about that statement. Statement? Like bank statement?
So Seth doesn't have alt here, but it is very close, which I have a feeling as soon as he gets alt up. Death push from School of Mines here. Um, blowing up the Zer uh, the Lulu, but Zuri has all two very unfortunate. Taking both the Nami and the Lucian ult. To get both of them here. And this should be, Oriana is trying to make, uh, trying to show face here, but, um, this should be a pretty easy school mind, uh, dragon. As there is nobody for DSU around. We do see Vi heading up towards Harold here. Um, very good job on school mines um, with that death bush to get. Um, <laughs> you don't even please. go to school here. That's enough input from you. Please, please make that pull. Um, we see Set just running down the orange some more. Running down the orange. And he does have ult now. So, hey, we got socials. <laughs> oh gosh, we don't need so socials. We, we don't do the command, so, Mike. Do the command. Mike, 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 Mike. It's not Wednesday, so it doesn't make sense. It's always Wednesday. Ooh, flash mines, from the bro. set, and then flash from the Orn. Um, Orn has yet to use all. So yeah, he can't really get it off, to be honest, because well, not if he, he just engage. dies too fast. I mean, yes, but then what is he gonna do? He can't engage after the ult hits. Continue engaging. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's how an engagement works. I mean, when you're when you are like three levels behind, two levels behind, like half of an item behind, you're not gonna do a lot. Okay, even but if you, you, do you know engage. the saying: dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Play for the feed you want to be, not the feed that you are. Or just don't feed. No, no, I'm saying get fed. Oh. Ego challenge everything at all points, and this is why you're staying bronze. I could be an ulti coming down, and it's not gonna matter because very ulti and very ulti. ulti. That's a lot of damage. That was very a lot good of polymorph. Very good. Uh, do got shielding from Ooh. oh the bubble. A lot of flashes coming out. That is true. Several of them, in fact. Lulu, Vi, and Nami all flashing at relatively like, the same time. So they will have multiple counters on when Nami's is up. I love the sound effect of Orin's auto attacks. You know what I'm doing this week? What are you doing this week? Going full attack speed on as many random champs as possible. I'm going to build full... AD Teemo. That's kind of viable, so... How? How is that viable? When you need more mixture damage on your team. It makes your E totally useless. So, but then you still have auto attack damage. But as I was saying, imagine... Uh, new ADC. Imagine um, an Orn attacking at um, 2.5 attack speed. With <laughs> <Ripple tempo. laughs> Smack. With also crit animation. A lot is happening on the map right now. So much. Vi going for a gank. Oh, or, uh, Zeri's a bit low here already. You'll see Lucian doing do quite have, a bit of damage. Taking the polymorph. You do have Raka ulti coming out, but it's not going to help here. Ooh, Very nice flash, flash from the Zuri. And Hecarim's just going to get out after Bye, horse boy. Bye, horse boy. So, um, one thing I do want to point out. Um, Raka isn't getting beat down as hard as we did see last game. So, either she's playing safer... Or Oriana just can't be as big of as a bully as Yasuo was. Last I, I game. think it's I think it's the second one. Yeah. So she is actually zero zero. So her ultis will actually make more of an impact as they have last game. Um, we do see Harold coming down uh, bot lane here. Unfortunately, they weren't able to fully crack open at this tower. Uh, Lulu taking a tower shot there uh, may decide her fate here shortly. You, you have been voted. It says yes, but actually no. I I I there have, was two votes, and I, you you can see the two poop the two people that voted <laughs> in this booth. Um, they're biased, so that gets thrown out of the court of law. Yeah, and say he if you vote as a moderator, you can't close the poll. So, all right, well, you know what? And also, I have a rare condition where I can only read the first word of a sentence, so all I see is yes. That's false, and you know it. All I, all I heard was that, so... My opinion matters. True. <laughs> That's why you need to be removed. 
you wish. <laughs> no more spicy water for you. You can't tell me what to do. Just imagine being illiterate. I mean, yes, but I can still read all the words. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's gonna get more deep fried the more the screen goes on. Um, uh, everybody's ulti coming down bot lane here. Um, DSU's bot lane going out on top. Hecarim tower diving. Zuri, uh, Nami bubble missing. Zuri ulti Take just doing a lot of damage. Take him to the glue factory! <laughs> he got glued. What do you even mean? He's a horse. Uh, He's a horse. They, they took him to the glue factory. <laughs> Sound sensitive. I'm sorry. I don't know, but I'm not taking the chances. <laughs> And we see that Pop Pops has gone first item hole breaker, as not is surprised. his MO. Yeah, not surprised. Uh, blue team has gotten the second uh, dragon, and it looks Drag. like we are going to have Cloud Drake. Um, would love to know when that's going to come up. It should come up uh, about 1935 is when dragon should be up. More oh, spicy. Because we got to do math now. Um, unfortunately. Not if you just decide not to. Hecarim catching by on his raptors. He and says, no, get away have, from me. Uh, unfortunately, the barrier from Rocket and Rocket ulti here. Wow, that um, was... Orion in a very sticky situation. Almost dying to a Nami here. I would say, but Hecarim's here, so it looks like... And Hecarim Lucian targeting the... Oh, that's I say Lucian coming okay. up, that's why. Okay, valid. And, yeah, they're able to pick up both Vi of went divine here. Yeah, I gotta say, I, I think Eclipse would have been a very good option here. Why? Uh, because of the shielding. Uh, do you, do you realize how much shielding his her W gives you? But more shielding. Mm. The the sustainability from Divine Sunder, in my opinion, is just a little bit better. Uh, the I Zuri coming out of nowhere Whack. with the ulti. Lulu getting very Running low. Running down Lulu. Um, Gonna take Cannon and then run Lucian down because that's just how we do it here. Did Lucian you? trying to E out and it's not going to matter because oh, Zuri just fast. Zuri, Zuri just... Oh, we actually see the first Orn ulti here. Oh, no. Set down 700 gold going to the Orn here. Um, Did you actually see the uh, the Lucian try to Gale Force forward for the Lulu but hit the wall so it didn't go anywhere? Yeah. Um. So Zuri does have to pay attention here. Um, Why do Vi and Hecarim keep meeting in the at same the, spot? <laughs> at Raptors bit every single time. But they are going to win this one. He's trying to I ult lied. out. It's not going to matter because we oh, got a Zeri. Also, I just realized, you know what's a huge counter to Zeri? What's that? And why they didn't ban it? Why? Raka. You would... can't Q as Zeri and when you're silenced. <laughs> Raka True. has a silence. But she has to hit it. Well, yes. But, I mean, you just have to walk over it. It's fast. easy. It is easy to hit a point Zary and click. Basically a point and click silence. So that's probably why Good they decided to Nami. ban it. Nami. Yeah. She got taken to the fish shot. Nice two-person knockup from the one here. Um, Shirelli's coming out, and they're just going Holy to more. run down this Lucian in the tower. Yikes. A very, more, a very more commanding lead as we're seeing from DSU this game. Hecarim did get a bit of a lead, but honestly it hasn't been able to really transfer that to anybody else. As we do see the goal differences here, especially mid lane, with the fact that Raka isn't especially able to. Especially top lane. That too, that's also because massive he is 4-2-1 and one and has like... Uh, uh, but he's 60 more farm. But he still has a stronger lead than bot lane, even though Zeri's 10, 10 and 3. 3. Because the farm difference. Because farm wins games. Vision wins games. Also, farming wins games and objectives. And there's a lot of things that Being win games. Being better wins games. True. Something that you're not used to. Winning games? False. You don't win games. He walked into that one. How could I walk? Lelution ult getting barrel stuffed by the Krugs. He played himself. <laughs> Congrats, you played yourself. So Lucian using Blast Plant and kind of leaving Nami in an awkward situation. Thank you for doing the math. I didn't feel like it. Uh, that's actually about like... 
58. 58 farm. Quick maths. Since we do not have cast review, I am just staring at uh, Tom's room. And this aerial with the Lulu ult is huge. Yeah. And the <laughs> Tiamat effect. We see another he we see another Orin ulti. They will not leave this set alone, but it doesn't um, matter because he's going to keep scaling. He has hole breaker, so he's just... Oh, uh, the W not I'm coming in time. There had to be like a second on W there. Azuri does not have ulti Zeri right Azuri is going to solo run down a Hecarim and an Orn. Ooh, that was a lot of damage onto the Lulu. Oh! And, Orn, uh, where are you going? It's a, just a Zeri. It's just a Zeri. It is just a... Look at the look at the wave of effect. Yeah, <laughs> I love <laughs> it. I love it. Uh, to show you the power of Flex Seal, I saw this Hecarim in half. <laughs> now that's a lot of damn Crimson Samurai running any emote on the, uh, the Vi Flash. That was a very interesting flash. We're gonna need to talk about that. <laughs> Hi Weaver Witch. I mean in the end buddy. In the end Crimson buddy. What happened? It didn't work out in the end. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just. Gonna, it almost worked out. It. It almost. It not. Not quite. That was no bueno. Uh, but Hecarim does have his Miramana, which is a lot of extra damage. What? I'm just saying. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You sit there and tell me I'm wrong. For once, you're not wrong. That's what I thought. I'm questioning as Zuri is running down the Raka, why the Hecarim has Muramana in the first place. Hecarim always has Muramana. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, Tear is like first back item on Hecarim. It's a twin. Also, shut down over the Hecarim. Um, but Hecarim, he can't take him out because it's just his Zuri. Polymorph and the slow and the mass damage. Oh, very unfortunate. She's got the knock up, but it's his Zuri. You ain't running from this Zuri. Set's going to have a, a Lucian here as well. Ooh, the Orn ult in the Should. middle of the set ult. Very solid. Knock up the flash from Pop Ops is going to save him there. Say that flash is going to save him. He Lucian still is... does have Herald here, so he is just. It looks like he is just going to run mid here, maybe. Run mid, drop it. Yeah. Like and the reason hot. the reason he auto attacked those Krugs is to get his E back faster because of his um, passive. Yeah. Whenever whenever you auto attack with Lucian's Lucian, Lucian, I'm sorry, homie, but you don't want to go in there. Yeah, he's just trying to take out Harold. Um, Hecarim is going to try game. to come in from the side and knock him into the wall. Not full effect. A little I bit early on the there. on the set W there. Uh, Zuri in a very awkward spot here. He got bubbled and is instantly going to get blown off. Getting a little too aggressive there. Massive Without gold nearby to, to try to save. The Lucian. Oh, that was a lot of gold to the Lucian. Crikey, mate. Was it 600? Or was it 900? That was 700. Okay. So he, so he got a full 1,000. Was that a thousand? Quick map. Yeah, because the seven hundred. Yeah, I it's thought it was six hundred. It's it's hard to see the full amount they get because it was not. Well, you see, for some reason, because uh, two hundred years, Zeri still has the uh, bounty gold on her icon. Yeah, until she respawns. By the way, after this, you're t uh, teaching me how to make clips on mobile because I don't know how to. Or are you doing it from your desktop? Let's find out. Okay. Can you even do it from mobile? I believe. I believe that we will. I believe. Um, DSU catching out Orn here, and they're able to just blow him up. Um, they're looking at maybe setting up for Baron here, um, as they almost did catch. Oh, there's a little clip button. Neato. All right. Boy, that sure is neat. How neat is that? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? That's pretty neat. We are getting. This is why we call it the circus, because we get distracted from the game and barely talk about the game. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Not my circus, not my monkeys. It is my circus. <laughs> it's our circus. I carry this circus on my back. Yeah, cause spicy water. <laughs> uh. So it looks like DSU is going to maybe try to get a pick here and then just hard slam Baron. Or just go straight at Baron 
while Oriana shoved away. I would say they don't really need Oriana. Hal, get out of our chat. <laughs> Are you saying spicy water is ginger ale? Ginger ale is just Sprite with a splash of Coke. And the Oriana all Very nice. Good Catching night, out Soraka. Soraka. There's a lot happening. We Polymorph Lucian. We are getting the eagle eye view on South Dakota School of Mines base. We can see everything. We can see everything. We can see all. And Zeri just, you know, doing Zeri things and destroying the Ooh, old nice team. nice flash. They're so small. Hecarim, where Hecarim. are you going, homie? You're polymorphed. Lulu, you're leaving your Zeri. <laughs> I Easy peasy. Zeri things, I guess. As uh, DSU is uh, taking up the Nexus and is looking like this is going to be the end of game two and the Ziri. The Ziri. Zara! <laughs> the series. Oh no! They're three throwing! Them, three of them entered in the tower. Okay. Okay. You can switch it over now, please. Thank you. Um. Very dominating take game two. Um, honestly, probably what game one would have looked like if they didn't get so aggressive there in the mid game. Um, still great performance from both teams. Um, amazing work. Good job by High Weevilert picking up that Vi this week. It looked amazing. Uh, keep up, very, very keep strong. Up that great on look. That we, we, I cannot speak. So Hi, ra, ra. Hi, ra, ra. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> oh yeah, he's brain dead. It's the are you. You make me this way. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to be myself, man. Both teams looked amazing. Um, we're just gonna put it that good. Hecarim gameplays. By the yes. way, Muramana is a great item on Hecarim. It is. It truly is. It's one of my favorites. I don't that believe in it. That and um, Turbo Chem Tank are the two standards on Hecarim. I don't play Hecarim enough. I've also taken, like, a semi-hiatus from League recently. But anyways, um, next streams. Tomorrow, join us for CCL Rocket League um, at what do we play? 8 o'clock. I do not know because I do not have access to their schedule. Ah. And then yes. Sun <laughs> Sunday... <laughs> Uh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's not Sunday. Oh, uh, Wednesday. Uh, join us for another Smash TKO. Um, and then that's it until next Sunday for uh playoff games. Actually, next Sunday is Easter. Stay in tuned because probably not any games. Yes, because Valorant will have their playoff. Well, all all three games will have their playoff game, first playoff games. So, um. Stay just stay tuned to our socials because I'm assuming Valorant is going to get rescheduled since it does fall on Easter. Uh, so just stay tuned to our um, socials. That's where you can get the latest updates on anything DSU streaming wise, well, esports streaming wise, I should say. Um, but anyways, I don't think I have anything else to say. You have anything else to add? Um, I do. Um, number one, socials we have them. Number two, um. It's not it's not uh, set in stone, but we might try to have another COD stream on Thursday. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, yes, uh, we we'll had some games one. rescheduled this week, so we'll um, we'll see what happens. Again, uh, check the socials, uh, turn on stream notifications. Um, yeah, like Colby said, uh, great showings for both teams here. Uh, School of Minds put up a very strong fight, and I was um, I was definitely. Um, Really impressed with them that uh, first game. Mm -hmm. They did a very good job of coming back. But uh, yeah, uh, which kind of cut the cut the jinx scale. And high weeb alert with them high IQ plays on Vi that we absolutely love to see. And it was a lot of fun to watch. Hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. And we will see you next time the circus. Yeah. Because the circus shall ride again. The circus never dies. Okay. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, see you guys next stream.